Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today we are working on the Bantam again. It's a 1300 road cam engine. It's the same as the Ford Fiesta, if I'm not mistaken. Please leave down in the comments. Let's see uh, what's happening. So we'll be changing the coil pack. Uh, first of all, 10 spanner. Get the battery terminals removed. You don't want any current going to the uh, engine control unit. And before we carry on with this, I think uh, let's have a gander at the uh, spark plugs. Let's see what they look like. Uh, for the Bantam, you'll need a, I think it's a 16 millimeter plug socket. So let's start off on the first one. Uh, what's happening currently with the uh, little Bantam is that I am getting uneven running and stalling and hesitation. So, uh, I don't have a little computer, there you can see the first one, it's actually, it doesn't look bad. Um, so, I don't have a, a, a reader so I can check codes on it, but I think it might be the coil or the HD leads. Second uh, spark plug, also looking good, fairly good, they're not that old, I changed them, I can't remember, three or four months ago. Yeah, as I said, the uh, it's got a bit of hesitation and misfire on it, so uh, it's either the coil or the uh, ignition leads, or a bad plug. Uh, there we go. That one's also not in a bad state, so uh, we can still run them. If anything happens, I'll just change them out. At least none of them is dead. Now I must be honest with you, the um, coil pack and HD leads have been uh, in this bucky since the beginning. So before we take everything off, let's make sure that we've got the numbering right. Uh, so we've got the top end and the bottom end. Uh, well, on the one side we've got f number four plug and number one plug on the top end. Just making sure. And on the bottom side we will have number, what's that, uh, number three and two okay so now we know what sequence they have to come back on and now we can just remove the uh, ignition leads they should come off fairly easy not going to use these again as i said they are 200 and well 320 thousand kilometers old so i think it's about time i think that's Probably beyond the decent life of a coil pack as well, so uh, uh, it's not big money, so actually a small one to, to look after your, your little bantam. And there we go, all the ignition leads off. Now we will need a, before you go, well, uh, yeah, before you carry on there, let's take off the plug. Uh, I almost forgot that one, it's got a little thing in there that you just depress and then it uh, releases the little hook on so uh, don't break it off right there we are now now everything's clean now we can start taking it off you need a i think it's a t25 torx uh, not sure my torx but don't show what size it's uh, so i think whichever one fits but i think it's a 25 and uh, then we can just start to take off the coil pack it bolts onto the valve cover. You got a casting little thing there. So there we go. Okay, so the OEM part actually shows you which lead goes where. Don't know if you'll see it on the camera, but it actually says one, two, three, and four in its right place. So uh, I couldn't see that from where I was standing before I stripped it out. The replacement part is not OEM, it's an uh, aftermarket part and it does not show, so that's why I um, marked it and make sure we've got the one that's right. Uh, as I said, the bike has got 320,000 kilometers, so what's that for the American guys? I think it's 188,000 miles, so uh, not bad, I'm, I'm happy. But now we've got a problem that the, the, the OEM part bolts are too short now to fit in there. I don't know why they do not make it the same. Uh, I've got no idea. But now we need longer bolts and I don't think I have longer bolts. 
Uh, there we can see the old one has got a, a very small um, ear that, that you bolted down on. So I have to go back to the um, shops and get the right uh, parts. So I couldn't find the correct ones. Uh, got some five mil. It's a five millimeter bolt, so I couldn't get the right one. So I've just got a little. Um, what do they call it? Machine screen there. I'll get some proper uh, either Torx or cap screws and fit them on. Or oh, I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, you know how it goes. And once you've got everything up there, the service manual says that the bolts need to be torqued to five newton meters. So we've got the small little torque wrench running here. Let's see what we can get to. There we go. Oh, and that is why you need either X or a Torx. There we go. Okay, so once we've got that in, um, now we can just run the new uh, ignition leads. They're all different sizes, so just start from the longest to the shortest, from one to four, and make sure that you uh, get everything in place. Small little bantam is always a hassle to get to the back of the plugs and, and, and get yourself in there. There we go. And the uh, ignition coil just presses onto the coil pack. Should go on fair, I won't say easy, but, but make sure that you've got it on properly. You don't want to uh, have a bad connection there and arc it out. There we go. Once everything's on there. And uh, I think now we can give it a bash and see if we can get it started. First of all, we need to put the uh, battery terminals back. That's it. Now uh, let's see if she'll crank up. Okay, so first to run through the ignition cycle, let the engine control unit do its thing. There you can see 319,885 kilometers on the clock. Five hours later. Okay, so me being the absolute idiot, I forgot to put the plug into the into the uh, coil. So there we've got it. Uh, let's give it a bash again. And there we go. Seems to be running much smoother than it was previously. Mm -hmm. I didn't film the way it was running previously, so uh, but it, it definitely runs better. Uh, if you've made it thus far, thank you very much. Uh, as always, um, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, thanks for watching. And as always, stay safe. <laughs>